Are you like me? Do you at times wonder how to be imparted with the gifts God has for you? Impartation has to do with the giving and receiving of spiritual gifts, blessings, healing and baptism in the Holy Spirit for the work of the ministry. Impartation is seeking God's revelation, resulting in God disclosing himself to you. Proverbs 25 verse 2 says, It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. It is the glory of kings to search out a matter. We are encouraged to pray for the eyes of our hearts to be enlightening. In Ephesians 1 verse 17 through 18, the Bible says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightening, that you may know what the hope of his calling is, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sense. In John 7, verse 37 to 38, the Bible says, On the last of the greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. And in Romans 1, verse 11 to 12, the Bible says, I long to see you so that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to make you strong. That is that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. Impartation of spiritual gifts can occur by hearing the word of God, by seeing and by laying of hands. Jesus said that the Holy Spirit will flow to the one who thirsts. We should actively and relentlessly pursue being filled with the power of God's Spirit. Impartation takes place not just when the sermon is delivered, but when the Word of God is actually received into the core of our being. For us to be imparted, it requires a certain reception of divine truth for transformation to take place. Impartation implies a source. When that source is God and our need is for His Spirit, we know He has an unlimited heavenly abundance from which we can draw. John 3 verse 34 says, The one whom God has sent to represent Him will speak the words of God, for God has poured out upon Him the fullness of the Holy Spirit without limitation. Each one of us was made to manifest the glory of God and host His presence. As we continue to desire more of God, honor the Holy Spirit, and surrender our hearts to Him, staying continually filled and overflowing in the Holy Spirit, it will be a natural and everyday occurrence for us. As Christians, we are completely depending on the power of the Holy Spirit. If we want to do great things for God, it is not through our own strength that we accomplish anything worthy of Christ. It is the power of the Holy Spirit in us that makes us different. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 11, the Bible says, But one of the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as He wills. The Holy Spirit makes our prayers effective. He makes the Scripture come alive, and He speaks to our hearts. He empowers us to overcome spiritual opposition to the preaching of the gospel and to do God's work in people's lives. The Spirit of God also gives us discernment in situations of spiritual conflict against forces of darkness. Tonight we are going to pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to come upon us and to impart us of prophetic wisdom of the Holy Spirit. In Matthew 10 verse 1, the Bible says, and when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirit to cast them out, and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. And in John 20 verse 22 to 23, the Bible says, And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiving them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. After praying this prayer tonight, God will speak to you through dreams and vision. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to me in Jesus' name. Father, fill me afresh with the power of your Spirit. Heal every wounded part of my life to the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Help me subdue every fleshy manifestation of sin in my body by the power of your Spirit. And realign my life and set me on the right track by the help of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit come afresh upon my life today. By the help of your Spirit, let my life reflect the life of God in Jesus' mighty name. Father, awaken in me the fire of love through the help of the Holy Spirit. I want to be connected to you forever. Enrich me with your gifts in Jesus' name. Quicken me and increase my desire for the things of heaven. By your rulership, Holy Spirit of God, let the lust of the flesh in my life be subdued in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, increase daily in my life and maintain your gifts in my life. Refine and purge my life by your fire. Inflame and fire my heart in Jesus' mighty name. Lay your hands upon me and quench every rebellion in me in Jesus' name. Fire of God, begin to burn away every self-centeredness in me. Breathe your life-giving breath into my soul. Make me ready to go wherever you send me. Never let me shut you out in Jesus' name. Never let me try to limit you to my capacity. Work freely in me and through me in Jesus' name. Purify my life. Let your heat, O Lord, consume my will in the name of Jesus. Let the flame of the Holy Spirit blaze upon the altar of my heart. Holy Spirit, let your power flow like blood into my veins. Order my spirit and fashion my life into your will. Let my hand become the sword of fire to cut down evil trees in the name of Jesus. Let my feet become the thunder of God as I stamp them. Let them deafen the enemy in my life in Jesus' name. Let the spiritual rag of poverty in my life be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy of excellence in my life be consumed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let every past satanic achievement in my life be converted to my promotion in Jesus' name. Dear Holy Spirit, please help me. Let the shame of my enemy be multiplied greatly in Jesus' name. Help me to destroy every satanic inspiration targeted against me in Jesus' name. With the power of the Holy Spirit at work in me, I barricade my life from every satanic opinion in Jesus' name. Let all my divinely appointed helpers begin to look at me today in Jesus' name. Thank you for causing me to ride above principalities and powers in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. My Father in heaven, through the deep silence worship I enter into your presence where the Holy Spirit is overflowing with rivers of anointing. I stand and breathe your spirit and presence inside of me. I breathe with your Holy Spirit and with your blood, Jesus. I stand and breathe in awe of you, Jesus, Son of the living God. As I lift my hands in worship, I whisper your holy name. Your presence around me and surrounding me is indescribable. You are holy and glorious, Lord. You are the Lamb of God to receive the power, riches, wisdom, and strength, honor, glory, and blessings. Jesus, bring upon me anointing of your Spirit as I stand in your presence. It is not by might nor power, but by your Spirit, Jesus. Use me for your glory, Jesus, as you will, as is your perfect will, through your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. Now that I am soaking in your glory, Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Breathe within me. I drink it in. Impart your power upon me, Jesus, and your Holy Spirit, and deep conviction of the anointing. Deepen the anointing upon me and the wisdom of my heart, and impart your divine wisdom through your Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I ask you for more of this soaking presence to overflow my spirit, my soul, and body. Release your ocean of anointing over my life and my service, Lord. Use me for your glory, Father. I have received your wisdom. I have received your power. I have been anointed with the Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself in a dream in the vision of the night. Stir off the prophetic inside of me. For in this last day, Father, you have spoken to us by your Son, by whom also you've made the world by his Spirit. Let me speak from now on through your spirit, Father. Prepare me for the service and as I praise you, I ask for the prophetic to come into my life with wisdom and power. Impart the word of wisdom. Impart the word of knowledge. Impart the discerning of the spirit. 
Open the eyes of my heart that I may understand and receive the knowledge of the mystery of Christ and the Gospels, Lord. Heavenly Father, you have said, It shall come to pass in the last days, save God. I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see vision, and your old men shall dream dreams. Impart these pathetic dreams into my spirit. Impart your wisdom of the knowledge of the heart and deepen it with your anointing, Lord. As I submit myself to your presence, Lord, stir off the prophetic according to the proportion of faith in the same spirit, Jesus. For your glorious name's sake, I pray tonight. Amen.